transponder, standby. Heading indicators, matching. Shoulder primary two six, ready for takeoff. My first solo flight was beyond exciting. My instructor told me he was going to get out of the plane, and I sat on the apron and my feet were shaking so much I couldn't hold down the rudder pedals. I sat there for five minutes before I could get up the nerve to do what I've done a million times, but this time I was doing it by myself. You get in the air and you realize I've done this a million times, I can do it. It was amazing. My name is Chelsea Ann Edwards. I'm a Waterloo Aviation student in Geography and Aviation. I first knew that I wanted to be a pilot when I completed my first intro flight in Mississauga Beach. It was just an amazing experience. You get in that plane, it's just, it's just excitement over and over and over again. So it's just such a motivator. I wanted to be doing something that I was going to be captivated with for the rest of my life. I knew before I even knew that I wanted to be a pilot that I wanted to be a university graduate and being in Waterloo's aviation program gives you an edge. You have a university degree. You also have training on the DA-40 which includes glass cockpit which is something that bigger airlines look for when you're applying for a job. Everything that they offered here was what I wanted for my program. When I told my mom that I wanted to be a pilot for the first time she was a little apprehensive but I've taken her up since then. The first time it was a little turbulent so she was a bit nervous. I'm pretty sure she screamed on the takeoff but um, since then we've gone up for more flights and she gets really really excited and she knows that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life and she's really really supportive. At the Waterloo Wellington Flight Centre we have a really good training experience. We're a mix of the science and aviation and the geography and aviation students. It's really nice to be in a place where there's so many people experiencing the exact same things. The instructors, they're really, really understanding. A lot of them come directly from the university program, so they know exactly what you're going through and they want to make sure that you're on track both on the university and the Flight Centre side. Being in this location, there's a lot of um, variety in the airports that you can go to visit. It's great to be able to fly home for the weekend. I can literally fly to the Barrie Airport and I pick up my mom and my brother, go for a flight, maybe a little CN Tower flight, and then I can just fly home for the next week of going to school. I fly the Cessna 172S model. So as you move up in the program, you get to try a whole bunch of different planes and everything. First the 172 and then you get to fly the DA-40 and on to the Pipers. My friends and I, when we're getting our own planes ready at the airport, everyone stops when the WestJet commercial flight comes in. It makes a huge noise when it's coming down the runway and everyone's looking at it thinking, that is what I want to do. I'm going to be that captain of that big flight. I'm going to be in that seat one day. Honestly, the program is one of the most challenging things I've ever done, but every single time you get up in that plane and you're in the air, it makes it so worth it.